local anesthetic syringe assembly. So here we have the local anesthetic syringe. It's a aspirating syringe because of the presence of this arrow-shaped harpoon. So this is the harpoon. So here we have the dental cartridge. As you can see, there is the presence of some brown substance here. It's not rust, neither is it blood. It's the betadine solution used to disinfect this dental carpule or cartridge of cam. So the important parts of the cartridge, rubber stopper, and the rubber diaphragm. So the rubber stopper will make contact with the harpoon. Rubber diaphragm will make contact with the needle. So here we have the needle. So to open it, you need to twist this part. Then remove it. Don't throw this part yet. We'll use it later. Cartridge penetrating end of the needle. It will make contact with the rubber diaphragm later. So I'll just show you what happens. So here we have the cartridge penetrating end inside the carpet. Okay, so now I'll show you how to assemble it properly. So first, Pull the piston, this part, pull all the way, so see, look at this part, pull all the way, and place the rubber stopper first, not the other way around, this part first, and then release, so remember the arrow shaped harpoon, press and Engage it. Let's open the needle. Twist this part. Use the penetrating end of the needle to penetrate the rubber diaphragm. Do it slowly to not bend this part. For a smoother administration of the local anesthetic solution, penetrate it. Twist it. So once properly seated, press gently. So I'll remove the cup first. So press once. To check for the proper engagement of the needle. So this black part here shows us where or the location of the bevel of the needle. So that's it. You're now ready to administer local anesthetic. So the small cap, make sure to not throw it away. Place it here at the end of the bigger cap. I'll show you how to close it. So use the one hand scoop method. Never use your other hand. And then, press it to close it properly. Twist. Pull. Using this cap. Close. So you are now ready to Dispose it on the sharps container. Disengage the harpoon. And we're done. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thank you so much and comment down below for your video suggestions.